The following is a hangman game that I created. Uh, I'll go ahead and zoom in here. The part that you're looking at here is actually shows you how much is hung. Let's let's go and show you an example. This one right here is a word that I, I used. The first letter is an I. The second word is the word M. So far the M is, is there. The third is the word tired. So far you have T-I there, but no more. Down here you have 12 different choices that you can put letters in. So that I can quickly design this, I didn't use VBA to write this at the very bottom for your choices. If, for instance, you have a word, if there are eight letters in a sentence that you're going to use, you can only guess eight uh, letters down here. And that's why you see eight letters there. If you have 12 words, or 12 letters in a sentence, complete sentence, you can, you know, do up to 12. And if it's more than that, you still can only do up to 12. If you don't get the letters right down here, then you're going to be hung. If you either don't get or you get wrong eight choices up here, they will lead to a complete hangman. As long as you don't have the complete hangman, uh, here you can you know get points and you can go on to you know do another game let's show you how it works I haven't put a button in here you know an active button it would take two of them for this one another thing about this one I'm going to show you is as you can see this also takes formulas it's VBA and formulas within the spreadsheet not formulas in the VBA code. I'm not going to give you the formulas part. You just have to figure out a way to do the formulas on your own. But when you see the lines here appear when I uh, type things into an input box, all of that is VBA. Let's show you how it works. We're going to, because my sister, I'm using my sister's computer and she doesn't have the version of Excel that I have. The version I have, I can go to my ninth uh, tab, which is the developer tab, and go into VBA. But my sister, you go into the view tab, then you go over to macros, and uh, you click on view macros, and this opens up. You can step into either one of those. This consists of two. Notice here at the bottom, this is the second macro, and we have one at the very top, the first macro. You're going to go in when you use this, when you download this, you're going to go into the first macro first. I'm going to reduce the size so you can see what happens. While in the first macro, you're going to run it, reset it, and go to your run, and then run sub user form. I'm going to back out so you can see what happens. Okay, you get the prompt box. The prompt box says, Give me a word or a letter. Basically, just type a little sentence, a small sentence. I'm going to type my name. Can you see that? Oops. I put my name. My name. Okay, what I've typed here is, my name is Ken. I'll try and zoom in here. It's going to be blurry. But I don't know if you can see that. But that's what I typed in here. So I'm going to go OK to that. Hit the OK button. And notice what happened. Once you hit the OK button, it clears everything out. The previous hangman that was in the window is now cleared out. And it changes this. It I've My formulas and the VBA works together to actually use um, the lower border for each cell. So my and then if there is a space it doesn't put an underline.
that lets you know how many characters you need to guess. So this one, this first one is two characters. The third one, I'm sorry, second one is four characters. The third one is two characters. Third one right here. And the fourth and last one is three characters. Now, notice here, down here in this box, it already has letters in it from my last uh, um, Hangman game. And based upon those letters, it sees, it does, uh, it uses the match formula to search a field that's hidden. There is a, a line that's actually hidden, uh, but you can't see that. And what it does is it says, for the y, instance, the Y, it says, is there a Y in what was typed into the uh, input box? It's basically just a find formula. And if there is, it uh, does, you know, a search here and it pulls it down, etc. So, that's what happens here. So, if we look in the box, we have a Y and it found a Y and it placed it where it, it goes and it found an M there and it places it in two places here, there and there so that's basically how it works uh, now that I have run the code and uh, the first portion of it, it's time to run the second portion okay here it is, let's go down to the very bottom okay this is the second portion of the code, this is going to say let us know if I've been hung or not so let's now notice what happens. It says your torso is now on the block. That means I haven't figured out a lot of the um, the letters for this game. So it's all the way down to my torso. So that after the torso, you only have the left leg and the right leg. Two more. If I hadn't gotten two more cor uh, correct, it would have. I would have been completely hung, and that means the game would have been over. As long as you don't have a complete hangman, you can move on and you can get points and move on to the new game. So let's go OK and look at what happens. It places the head, the neck, the shoulders, the left and the right arm, and the torso there. Let's get rid of two of these down here. Let's, let's take two of these away as if we didn't guess them right. And let's run the get run, let's run it again the code so that we can be hung. So let's go ahead and run it again and watch what happens. Your left leg is now on the block. Notice that. Now we're going to take one more away. So let's take the M away because we know that, that M and we're going to put a nail there. We know without that M, I'm going to be hung. So now we're going to go back here and we're going to run it again.